So in the last video I spoke about minimalism and at that part it was just an idea but after doing a little bit more research I decided that I'm just going to do it. Just do it! And so in this video I'm going to take you through the steps that I've took so far. So I've made the decision but then I've stood around thinking now what? Where do I start? What do I do? So I did a little bit more research and people do this in different ways. Um, some people just throw a couple of things away or donate or whatever but then the minimalist.com I've got this game where you start off on day one, it's 30 days, you start off on day one and you throw one item away. Day two, you throw two items away. Day three, three items and so on until you get to day 30 and by the end of day 30 it's worked out that you've thrown away or donated about 465 items and that's a good way to get started. But I didn't want to pull any punches so I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to dive straight in. Should see what also. So I dove in at the deep end and for the past week I've decided to go through all my things so from my clothes, my trainers, my books, my gadgets, my accessories, my games and put them all into three piles sell, donate or throw. So as I'm no longer a gaming streamer I decided to downsize the PC that I had like with the two monitors and the big gaming setup and just go for a smaller option which is the MacBook Air and I can still edit all my videos and do all the things that I wanted to do on this one anyway. Plus it's more portable and I can take it anywhere that I want to go with me. So with my clothes I literally just grabbed them and threw them in a bag along with some books and DVDs that I'm going to donate to charity. I got some other medical books and stuff that I used at university that I'm going to take to the hospital and hopefully the students there can benefit from them. And then the rest of my things I decided to just put on eBay. I thought I'd be able to get some money back and I think already this week I've made over £120. This is business! Then the rest of it I'm just going to throw away. There's some old laptops that have sensitive information on like uh, bank details so I don't really want to sell them in case people can get the information from it. And then I just accumulate like four bags of rubbish just around the room from that you don't even realise is there so a good little clean up as well. So in my clothes I don't know if you're like me but I always pretty much choose my favourite outfit. If it's clean and it's in the wardrobe I'll pick out the same thing and looking back at my photos you can see that I wear the same top and black jeans pretty much all the time if it's available. So I decided I'm just going to order five shirts of mustard colour and get two pair of jeans or something. Exception to the rule because we live in England it's cold or raining or summer or snowing all in one day so as well as the tops and the jeans I'm gonna keep one or two jumpers as well. So with the shoe situation I just kept one pair of trainers and one pair of shoes and one pair of boots which should cover all situations. I kept a suit as well but otherwise all the other clothes have gone. So with the books, I've got quite a few books that I've still not read. So what the plan is, I'm going to read them and then donate them to a friend or family, recommend it to a friend or family uh, for them to read and just give it to them. And then I'll get it on Kindle. Um, rule is I want to keep about five physical books as I do prefer to read a physical book rather than on a Kindle. Um, but I find that you read one book and then it just stays on the shelf for a ever so I'll donate it get rid of it give it to someone else and then if I do want to read it again I'll just get it on a Kindle and the good thing with the Kindle is that you got a whole bookshelf in a thing this thin same with photos I got rid of all my photos I got them on the PC and I just downloaded them onto something this big I've got about 10 years worth of images on there from university and everything and it's kept safely on there and I don't need to keep a physical stack of them so with the games, I'm not going to throw or donate them away. I think that they're just too valuable for what you get for them nowadays. I could sell a PlayStation 3 and get hardly anything for it, along with the games and get like a pound for it when there was £40 on release. So I still think there's value in keeping them in the hopes that when I have a kid, I can slowly give them to the kid and he or she can experience experience what I experienced growing up and I'll slowly drip feed them the new games each each year or something and but I'm going to keep all my games consoles is basically what I'm saying. So that's it, the start of a new beginning. Hopefully I can follow this through and make this change in my lifestyle. I already feel better from decluttering, there's not a lot of mess around anymore and same with the clothes situation, I just get up and get dressed and get on with my day. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot more things especially decluttering like 
the phone with the apps and things so I want to get digitally minimalized as well because you get trapped in the the black hole that is social media so lastly what are your views on the studio I've set it up to make it look a bit more appealing but it's actually just me in my room but this is the space I've got to work with at the minute so give me a comment what do you think or should I change it up what do you think and then before you go, if you wouldn't mind just clicking that like button to help the video and if you really enjoyed this or you want to give me a bit of support, then please click subscribe as well. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.